Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will understand the various operations on whole numbers like how do we add whole numbers, how do we subtract whole numbers. So we will understand all those concepts in a number line. Now what is a number line? So a number line is basically the it, it basically represents the queue of numbers because we, we learned that numbers they exist in line, they exist one after another. So it is a line which displays the sequence of numbers one after another. So as you can see on the screen, you have zero at the center. On one side, right side, you have all the positive numbers that is one, two, three, four, and so on. On the left side, you have all the negative numbers, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. So for now, we will focus only on the positive numbers because this lesson is only about whole numbers. So the whole number starts from zero. So we will concentrate only on this portion and then on this number line, we will see the various operations. So a line, number line is a line on which numbers are placed at intervals. So all the numbers starting from 0, all the whole numbers are placed at equal intervals like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So this line is called a number line. Now as you move towards the right on a number line, what happens? As you move towards right, you move towards greater numbers. So a number which lies on the right hand side of another number is greater than the other number. For example, let's compare 7, let's compare 9 with 4. So 9 is on the right of 4 on number line which shows that 9 is greater than 4. Similarly, if you compare 18 with 9, so 18 lies on the right of 9 which shows that 18 is greater than 9. Similarly, as you move towards the left on number line, what happens as you move towards left, you are moving towards smaller numbers. So you see 4 lies to the left of 9, which shows that 4 is smaller than 9. 9 lies to the left of 18, so 9 is smaller than 18. So basically whenever you look at the number line, if you want to find the successor of any number, the successor of any number will always be towards its right. So let's consider the example of 12. The number which is on the right of 12 will be its successor. So the number on the right of 12 is 13. So 13 will be its successor and the number towards its left is the smaller number that is 11. So 11 would be the predecessor. So the number on the right would be successor and the number on the left would be the predecessor. So this is how the arrangement of number line is. So now we will understand addition on number line that is we will see that how do we add two whole numbers I, I'm sure you know how to add them for example here you see 5 plus 4 now we all know by normal mathematics that 5 plus 4 is 9 but we will prove on the number line that 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 so let's look at the number line and let's see how do we add this now basically what do we want to do we want to add 4 to 5 that means 4 is to be added to 5 so the first thing that we need to do is locate 5 on the number line so where is 5 this is 5 so this is 5 now with 5 we want to add 4 so basically we will make jumps and how many jumps we will make one jump is how much one jump is one because 5 plus 1 is 6. So 1 jump is 1. Now I want to add 4 to 5. So I will make 1, 2, 3 and 4 jump. So after the 4th jump, where do I reach? I reach 9. So what does that mean? That means that 5 plus 4 is 9. So what we need to do is, first you see to which number you want to add. So 5 is the number to which you want to add 4. So locate 5. How much you want to add? You want to add 4. Now for 1, 1 is equivalent to 1 jump. So 4 is equivalent to 4 jumps. So we make 4 jumps and where do we arrive? We arrive at 9. So that shows that 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.